Everybody, welcome to a Saturday morning mic talk. It is the day before Easter. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited. I hope you're looking forward. If you're a follower of Jesus, you're looking forward to going to church tomorrow somewhere. And uh, I know that we're looking forward to host some of uh, the people that have supported Song and Sword here at the beginning. At 6.30 and 7.30, we're having sunrise service here. And I am, I can't wait. We're getting ready to set up these chairs here, clear some stuff out. Because this is my living room, by the way. This is where we hang out. But tomorrow is Easter, and uh, if you go to a church, I just encourage you to go, take your friends, take your family, everybody. If you don't have a church home, then I'm encouraging you. We can't take any more here live, because we have about 100 chairs and that's it. It's gonna be packed. But uh, join us tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I, I really, really um, encourage you. Uh, you probably have friends or family members or, or people that you work with, you know, you play with, go to school with that don't know Jesus. And tomorrow is the day, one day a year where people consider Jesus more than any other day in the year, even more than Christmas. And it's because of the resurrection. So I've got a sermon tomorrow at 10 o'clock on Song and Sword, uh, at Song and Sword. And uh, it is called uh, The Tomb is Empty. And I pray that you encourage people to come like it, uh, watch it, share it, all those cool things, please. I love you guys. God bless you. It is an exciting time. It is the day before Easter, that Saturday when Jesus' body lay in the grave. Um, and, um, and the whole world waited. And, and the ones who loved him mourned. And the Romans went on with their life as if nothing had happened, but something big was getting ready to happen. But did you know that it's important that, that Jesus lay in the grave? It, it, it's an important symbol of, of what happens to our sin and what happens to ourselves when we come to faith in Jesus Christ. It's a, and it's also a symbol of a very important act that we do all the time. Remember 1 Corinthians 15, I was talking to you about that the other day. Paul t uh, passes on to them as if of a, as of first importance. Here's what he says. I want to remind you the gospel I preached. I pass this on to you as of first importance. This is not the scripture, by the way. This is extra stuff. He says that um, in verse uh, four, that he was buried. It's important that we understand that Jesus had to be buried because he didn't die and he's not buried. Then resurrection doesn't mean as much. But Romans chapter uh, six gives us an insight into what this death actually means for us, spiritually spe speaking. Excuse me, hiccups. Romans 6, 1. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin so that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him in baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in a newness of life. There is no newness of life until you die to the old self. And burial, Jesus' burial, this Saturday when we remember the weekend of the, the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, burial is not just an addition that doesn't matter. It is a very big, it's an important theology because it's a symbol of how we die to our sin and ourself when we come to faith in Jesus Christ. Um, that, that was the argument in Romans. Romans, uh, Paul makes this argument. So since grace is bigger than my sin, and it is, should I just keep on sinning so that I get more grace? And Paul's answer is no, you can't do that because you died to sin. Just like Jesus died to himself and died to his physical self and was buried, so you have died to yourself and you are buried. And the symbol of that, the picture of that, which most of you watching, I hope you have done this, uh, is baptism. That's why we put somebody under the water. It's a symbol of dying to myself and dying to my sins. It's, a, it's aligning my life. Don't you know that those of us who have been baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? We join Jesus in the tomb on this Saturday. So maybe something to think about today as you prepare for the great celebration of resurrection and Easter. Maybe a thing to think about through this day is, have I died to all my sin? And go ahead, think about them, confess them, and bury them. 
because that's where they belong. Because only a buried sin and a buried life can be resurrected. And that's what we're going to celebrate tomorrow. God bless you guys. Happy Saturday. Get some rest. Get ready because it's a day like no other tomorrow. Love you. See you soon.